Hey everybody, it's Jasmine and I am so excited to be sharing with you guys my new glasses collection. I have six pairs of glasses I want to show you guys. And you know what, let me tell you, getting an eye appointment during COVID was such a mission for no reason. Um, but I am really excited because I got my new prescription, therefore I have my new glasses to share with you guys. And I have a lot that are really outside of my comfort zone and something that I would never pick out personally. But I am so happy to announce that this video is in collaboration with Zilul. Last year I filmed a video with them featuring, I believe five different pairs of glasses, one of which I am wearing now. And I do want to give you guys my thoughts and opinions still to this day about the glasses because I truly think they're bomb. I really do think they stood the test of time. Now, all of the glasses that I did show in that first video, I don't believe they sell the styles anymore. So I have a refresh here and I'm gonna go ahead and just show you guys what they all look like, what I look for in glasses and some pros and cons if I have any. Now, if you guys see a pair that you love or if you guys want to shop on zlul.com for your glasses, then definitely use the code Jasmine at checkout for 10% off. The current eyeglass that I am wearing definitely just screams Call Me By Miss Yin and nothing less. Like it just screams executive and I like that, I really do. Um, but I wanted to first mention something that I noticed firsthand when I got this package. Now all of the Z little packagings now have like this more industrial type of casing. Now the old packaging looked like this. It was blue, it was a little bit more of a thinner plastic. And I feel like this one, although it still is plastic, it's definitely more of a harder plastic. So if I were to just drop this on the ground, I know that this has a little bit more protection than the initial blue one, which is amazing. Alongside with your glasses, you do get the microfiber towel. And I really do like that because I find myself using it almost every single day, um, whether that's for my glasses, whether that's for my hand mirror, whether that's for my phone, I'm always using it. So the more the merrier. This here is the first pair of glasses. This is the Style Matthew. I prefer a medium with glass and this is exactly it, like just a true medium. And I like my glasses to be very parallel with my face. I don't like it to be too large and I don't like it to be too small because if my glasses are too small, I look like a founding father. Anything less than the first pair that I had on initially, I will look like a founding father. And I, oh, I also wanted to reiterate during that first Zillow collaboration video that I did last year in September, I don't believe they have any of the styles left anymore on their website. They do have very similar styles, but not the exact ones. Um, just thought I'd reiterate that um, because I noticed that they cycle through a lot of different styles um, pretty often. So if you like something, definitely get it. Um, now this one is really interesting because from far away, it's dark enough to pass as black, but like not really black. It's actually an emerald green, and I've never had colored glasses before. The most amount of color that I have had for my glasses were like on the very inside, and no one would have been able to see that color unless I took off my glasses. Now what is so special about these, not only is it green and not only do I think it is so flattering, I also love the leg of the glass here. The leg has some spotted tortoise shell designs and I am really, really digging it. It just looks effortless. It still looks like you're an executive woman. You were like Miss CEO, but with a little bit of flair. It's really, really pretty. And I love the rounded shape. I think the rounded shape really just ties it in for me because I feel like when you have something of like a square shape, it makes it look like you're all about business but I think with a rounded glass it's like she means business but she's also really nice and she could probably use a root beer float right now and I just love that vibe I love the vibe that round glasses give it just gives like a more approachable uh, feeling to a look and I think if you are like me and like all you do is wear black and neutrals I think that this is like the perfect pop of color it literally will go with any outfit especially if your wardrobe is all black and nude. So this is the second pair, it's a style Ellen. And when the Zillow team picked these out for me, I was very shocked because I looked at these and immediately I was like, I don't know, 
I don't know about her because there were just so many things that I just felt like were not it for me. First off, they're gray or they're silver and I am not a silver wear. I wear gold jewelry all of the time and I just feel like gold flatters me a lot more. Also, this is more of a wide glass frame. So it's a little bit more like out of my face shape and when I tried these on for the first time, I thought to myself, maybe they analyzed me correctly because these actually look good. Despite that they're silver, despite that they're wide, it's really comfortable. It's really nice. And I also wanted to preface that I really enjoy glasses with the nose pads. I prefer the nose pads because as somebody who wears makeup and as somebody who wears lashes and likes to, you know, go on their computer and type a lot of stuff, I just feel like the nose pad grips onto the nose really well and stays in place as opposed to a plastic nose. Um, it's not a nose bridge. It's like the plasticky thing. What is that called? I really had a fascination with the cat eyed glasses because I love the way that it just uplifts the face. It really just makes you not look tired. And it also adds like this balance between femininity with fierceness. It's like two combined into one. And I genuinely feel like it will complement a lot of different face shapes. I know a lot of people base their glasses around their face shape. I'm not that person. Really, I could care less about how glasses will look based on my face shape, but I do prefer uh, cat-eyed glasses just because it just makes you look like, you know, everything's going up and you got all your ish together. It, it's just a really nice glass, really. Um, so these ones are the style Ellen and they're really unexpected. Charlene here is giving me so many vibes. It's giving me, I will teach you about derivatives. I will teach you about how to treat scoliosis. I will teach you about the scientific method. Like it is just everything like this. This is nice. This is nice. It's another wide glass and it also is a half rim glass with the tortoise, wow, with the tortoise shell uh, framing here. I really do like this one and I also like how the legs are not too thick. It is thick and it does taper down, but I do like this because I feel like even though it is pretty thick, I know I'm not gonna get like a huge suntan on my face. I know we've had those, if you wore glasses in elementary school, you know exactly what I mean when I talk about the glasses tan. Everyone knows, everyone knows. I've been there, I've done it already too many times. Um, but I feel like this one is still really chic. It definitely is really lightweight, which I do like. I do think that these ones are more lightweight than Ellen, and that's just because of the material. These ones are more of like a plastic material with a little bit of metal. The entirety of Ellen was all metal, so it was a little bit heavier, but I felt like it would have stayed in place. You know what I mean? These ones these ones might be my new studying glasses. I already graduated college, but um, I will find something to study for and it's going to be wearing Charlene for sure. I do like these ones. These ones are really cute. Sydney is definitely a style that's in my safe zone. This is definitely something I would have picked out if I were at Costco or something. Uh, these ones just scream Jasmine. Funny, funny how that works. These are named after my best friend, Sydney. And notice how I say it makes me feel like Jasmine. It's just, just the way it is, you know? But something that's really interesting about these ones is that they are still a half frame glass, but the frame is actually going from the middle of the eye towards the outer corner. And it kind of goes into that cat eye shape, which is really still part of what I like, but also very different because the frame itself is in a position where it's not where you expect it to be. And that's what I really, really like about these. They are still very minimal. They're very thin, um, thin in a good way to the point where it's like, oh, uh, I could tell like she's wearing glasses, but it's like not a huge deal. It's like not the statement here. Um, so it definitely makes me feel comfortable. And if you like the Sydney glasses that much and you're just like, mm, I want to switch it up a little bit. They have eight different styles. 
that's crazy. Eight different styles you could pick from different shades, as well as transitioning these into sunglasses. Like, they really thought of it all with Sydney. They were very biased about Sydney. This style is in Isabella, and this style actually has nine different variations, varying from different colors as well as sunglasses. And this would have honestly been like my number one favorite if it had nose pads. This is the glass that doesn't have nose pads. I think it's really, really cute, but I just prefer that extra feature. I know that some people absolutely hate that, but I just think that even though I am wearing fake lashes right now, they don't touch the glass, which is really, really nice. I do like the fact that they are clear. Clear glasses are one of my favorites. I definitely think that it adds like this modern chic look to whatever outfit you're wearing. It looks like you're wearing glasses, but also not trying to do too much at the same time. And I love how big they are too, because it just adds another chic element and another modern element to what you already have going on. Also, if you are a person who likes to play with color with your eyeshadow or pops of color with your outfit, this is a type of glass that I would honestly wear to complement the entire outfit and make it seem like it's a look, like an extra look. Because it's clear, it won't take away from any outfit or any eyeshadow look or any makeup look that you're doing. I think that in fact, it will actually draw attention to what you already have and just, again, make it look very complete. And I just like the fact that they're big. They're big, but not too big. They definitely don't make my face look any smaller than it is. And it's not too small and narrow to the point where my face looks ginormous. I do have to say that the legs on this one are pretty stiff. So I know for a fact they're not gonna like go anywhere. They're, they're here to stay for sure. We're gonna end this video with another fun pair. This is Martha. And I thought I was actually gonna love Martha a little bit more than how I actually do. My natural face shape and features are a little bit off. I feel like if this were lifted just a little bit higher, just like that, it would look a little bit better. But because my eyes are like near the top of these glasses, it's, um, a little difficult for me because I definitely do see the frame here and that's not what I'm really looking for but if I take it to my optometrist or anybody who can fix my glasses I'm sure they could probably fix like the legs here to make it sit a little higher or I can get something on Amazon that's like an attachment to the actual leg and have it sit higher um, but yeah this is another glass that doesn't have the nose pads and I think that's another reason why I do like the nose pads too because it brings the glasses up a little bit higher not too much um, and I just think that because my nose, because um, I'm Asian, I feel like it's a little flat, but it's also really long. So I do think that, um, I don't know, these can be adjusted just a little higher for my preference, but I do think that the glasses itself are really beautiful. I do love this frame. It's pink, kind of tortoisey, but a little marbled. It's really, really beautiful, and I wish that this had nose pads. That's it, that's all I wanted, nose pads, that's it. But you know what? These are still really good. I think if you had a naturally higher nose bridge than I do, I think Martha would look really good, without a doubt, really amazing. And just before we end the video, I decided to pop back on Charlene because Charlene just gives me, she gives me a different vibe. I really do like how she makes me feel. When you look good, you feel good. Now, I just wanna preface that glasses are very personal. Um, I think that, you know, some glasses will definitely give you a different vibe. Some glasses will be good, but not great. And there are millions of glasses styles out there on the market. And I know that not every single one that you try is going to be the one that's right for you. And I think we can all agree, especially if you have tried glasses on, you know, whether that's at Costco, whether that's at your optometrist, you have noticed that you've had to try on like a couple of pairs in order for you to feel like you're gonna buy one, right? Um, but I think the one thing that I really do appreciate because my mom did end up buying glasses from Zewool and what I really appreciated was the fact that you can virtually try on glasses nowadays. So what you do is you upload a photo of yourself looking straight ahead into the camera and you can virtually try on the glass style yourself. And I think it is really helpful. And also I love Zewool because a lot of the pictures that are shown are also reviews from real people. So 
it really helps determine like, okay, I have similar features to them or I don't have similar features to them so it won't look the same. In essence, I hope that you guys found this video helpful one way or another, whether that's seeing what certain glasses look like on my face shape, or if you have certain features, I hope that you found what you might like on yourself as well. And of course, if you guys loved anything in this video, or if you guys want to try Zulo yourself, you guys can use the code Jasmine at checkout for 10% off your entire order. Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you guys did find it helpful, it would mean the world if you guys liked this video and subscribe and comment down below what you think your favorite style is on me. I would like to know, is it Charlene? Is it Charlene? I just, I have to know. Uh, so thank you guys so much and I will definitely see you guys in my next one. Bye. Peace out Girl Scouts.